yeah, I feel amazing now. Like, um, I feel really good, actually. Uh, only yesterday I'd done a 15-mile walk. I feel, I feel amazing, yeah. I, I, I feel like I can feel better, definitely, by just obviously losing a little bit more weight. But my training's better than ever, really. I never believed in myself, whereas now I've just got that like, complete belief. Something about just like losing weight and feeling good where you just sort of just switch really just from where I was to where I am now. I just, yeah, completely different person. I sound 15 stone eight now, so it's a massive drop in weight, but I'm still not finished, so it's, uh, it's just part of the process, really. It's like November, I was 22 stone. By April time um, this year, 2021, I got down to 16 and I thought I can quite easily lose another stone. It just felt terrible. And then from there, obviously it's just completely like flip reversed. So I went from there to all of a sudden, like two or three months ago, I'm doing like photo shoots for, for companies and things. Because at first I was really embarrassed to go into the gym because I thought, I own a gym and I'm like 22 stone. It's, it was a bit embarrassing, so I'd never really stepped foot in there when anyone else was in there. And the lockdown probably helped me a little bit because it gave me a chance just to go in there and not have to worry about anybody else. I've got a seven-year-old son now, he's seven now, and it was one of them things where I was picking him up from school and, and I was massively overweight, and even though they probably weren't, but I felt like everyone was looking at me, I felt uncomfortable. I couldn't buy clothes in the shops that would fit me, I had to buy offline, um, things like that. And I thought, it's not fair on him, really. Um, I want to be able to play football with him, go skiing with him and stuff like that, and him sort of, sort of carry on my journey in a way. I sort of decided there and then that you know, I needed to lose weight, and he was the drive, I'll be honest. Something happened when I was away playing snooker, I witnessed the murder, and it sent me off the rails a little bit. We went to like the this petrol station next door to the hotel and we just got like a load of junk food and just ate it basically and then it wasn't until I was about 26, 27 I just like completely lost the way then and just put a load of weight on. Yeah, yeah, I was Olympic trained. I didn't make it to the Olympics but I was Olympic trained yeah, in the GB team. Um, so I had an injury, uh, so I snapped my Achilles unfortunately. Um, four weeks before the Olympics. That was the start of my depression, um, really bad. Because uh, I, I was an athlete, I never used to eat that much. Uh, it was always eating to fuel my body. Um, but it got to the point where I decided to, you know, just turn to food as a comfort. I gained a lot of weight over a short period of time, uh, four stone in about three months. Went up to just under 30 stone. I just like completely lost the weight then and just put a load of weight on. Um, I've gone up to like 22 stone. Thank <laughs> you. 